Hi, this is Sandeep Bharti, and today we have with us a special guest from India, Jaskirat Singh, who is founder of Kodino. It's an open source project or community that's building amazing software for social networking. Jaskirat, first of all, welcome to the show. Now, tell us a bit about the, the, the project itself. So, Kodino is an open source software development community that desires the potential to change the way other communities use, other projects use, create an open source uh, environment and sustainable tools to better align with the end user expectations. So, basically, this gives prospectors allowing many other external projects, other communities to use uh, some of the social environments uh, built within Kodino, like social media platforms. Uh, basically the discussion forums within Codino in customized way. Excellent. But I'm still kind of, you know, uh, curious uh, that what exactly is Codino? Is it a project? Is it a platform? Is it a community? Just, just explain that part of it. Codino is basically a social networking community uh, that takes into the account of only social environment projects like the donut project, the code batch project, and the Spansberry project. I got it, excellent. So, so basically it's like an open source community that is creating software targeted at social networking solutions. Well, uh, we, we just make up these softwares, right? So we, we have projects uh, which, which uh, any, any, any other external communities, any other projects can use those platforms in their own way. So we, we just provide a set of uh, projects, a set of software, the open source tools uh, to make it available for the other external projects, other communities to, and, and those things can be used in, in the customized way since it's open source and it's free. Excellent. Now, you mentioned three projects. One of the projects that I am personally interested in is Project Donut. Tell us a bit more about a Donut project. Okay, so uh, Donut is basically an open source uh, feature rich and high, highly privacy friendly social media platform. So it, it, is, it is not basically a replication of the Facebook, but it is the own built the version of the uh, the social media platform that, that has been built for the community-oriented collaborations in, in a customized way. So it, it's basically built on the Node.js framework that helps the other communities to set up, uh, like it's, it's a self-hosted project, right? So uh, this helps the external communities, external projects to set up this on their own server and use it for their own community. Uh, so this will act as a bridge between the, their projects and their uh, users of the community. So this is basically a kind of social media platform. And, and this comes with expensive set of library of modules where you can even customize uh, with, with some external, you know, like we, we have mentioned, we have a uh, appropriate mechanism inside this donut platform where you can organize, you can create more, uh, more features related stuff inside the donut platform itself with, with one click. So this is something uh, which even helps you to uh, create your own uh, features, like, like basic features, functionalities inside the donut platform. Now, if you look at history, there have been many efforts to create open source solutions for social networking. Uh, I mean, uh, Mastodon is a very good example, which did not get the kind of traction we expected it to get. So how different is donut from these open source efforts. The world we currently live in is full of jargon technologies and with each passing day, um, new software or a gadget is brought into the market, which tends to improve the people life in one or the other way. Communication technology has enabled new approaches to, uh, to, to the common, uh, external communities, projects and end users in which stakeholders across various sectors are engaged in consensus building and, and basically in implementation process. So basically uh, this donut projects uh, uh, involves like and, and allows the users to uh, uh, like pass through some of the uh, platform with, with where you can have the one on one interaction with, the, with, their, the, with their own community. Uh, so this is basically a platform which would help the bridge the gap between the communities, their own workings, their own working ethics, and, and the, the targeted users, which, which gets involved with the communities. Because uh, for every open source community or every open source project, the most prioritized thing is the, their, their users, right? So, and every community usually like within the open source is basically depends upon the contribution they receive from the external users. So I think like this is something which would help engage the external users as well with their projects and, and they would be able to organize their own stuff on, on, on this particular self 
self uh, hosted uh, version of their own donut on 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 their servers so so this is something which would act as a uh two side of the facebook network which is which is the social media platform okay so if i'm not wrong you're not building the next uh okay so if i'm not wrong you're not building the next macedon you're not building the next facebook or twitter you're actually building a open source kind of social media solution or software that others can leverage to build a social network for their own needs is that correct yes we we are building a kind of a software that people can be benefited from it now i got it so who is the target audience of donut if i'm not wrong you seem to be looking at business to business or b2b space and not at business to consumer or b2c space is that correct okay so basically if i talk about the targeted audience so targeted audience in sense like this is uh, available to the uh, the communities like suppose if if i talk about a linux foundation community it it's it has got a quite a large of uh, huge users right so so to sustain those users uh, with 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 their own communities and and to keep them updated about the stuff uh, or or the and engage them with the external stuff like their media or or you know like the projects events and other things uh, so this is something which would help engage the both the external communities as well and and, and as well as the targeted users for those particular community uh, and you have also been accepted into google summer of code what has been that experience so far oh that is really interesting even because we are currently in a phase of google summer of code itself so basically we have been serving around with many uh, major uh, development programs like Google Summer of Code, Google Code in Google Season or Docs, and even now, as I just mentioned, like we are currently in the phase of Google Summer of Code uh, 2020. So, so I think like uh, participation through these programs have enabled us to grow our community of various developers and other activists. And I think like being a social networking community, it will be a social need to interact with various other activists and like researchers, designers, and you know, like. The developers across the globe. So the, basically, the, the these are the pla these are the basically platforms for the open source community, and and this basically is a contest which is organized by the Google. Uh, so so where where we get a chance to interact with the developers, and we seek developers to who who could work on our exciting project. So this is something we seek some kind of contribution uh, from from those development programs. I also want to know a bit about how wide is spread is the community. I do understand that it originated from India, but tell us a bit about where its developers are. Is it specific to region or is it a global phenomenon? Oh, oh well, this is this is something uh, not really restricted to our country. So this is something uh, globally present. So anyone who feels to you know, like anyone who wants to join, we have a. Uh, appropriate like ways of communicating and ways of joining uh, within the community and contribute within the community so so it's all open to the all people across the globe now i want to take a step back i, I understand a lot about the project I, I want to i want to know the story why and when you got the idea to create this project what problem you saw in the market that you wanted to solve with it oh uh, well i i just wanted to know like when when i started with this project i was around like 14 years old and and the major problem for me was to seek some contribution like like how to basically set up the foundation for this particular project because uh because you know like i i actually got to know about the open source stuff from the uh, one of the contest by the google which is named as google coding and after that uh, it it really made me to research about like how uh, social media platforms are made like how about twitter how facebook and made so i was wondering like how about if every community and every project have their own facebook so uh, this is something which which helped me which motivated me because i i was I started researching out. I started brainstorming around like why there is a need of social environments, why there is a need of a uh, community bridge between their users, uh, why, why, why actually uh, there is a need of you know like uh, basically the sustainability within any community or any project. So this this actually motivated and encouraged me to uh, start with this particular projects and and with with this growing projects we had a chance to. Uh, integrate the other ex other projects as well, like discussion forums uh, with with this social media platform and the and the project which measures the health of the users. So so you so it's all about like getting all in in one place. So yeah, and even even more more mainly like this these type of project doesn't exist for now uh, because not not really in the open source 
communities or like open source ecosystem so this is something uh, we would be the the first community like we are serving this this particular platforms and particular projects for external users and communities to use in their own way now one of the critical piece of any project especially open source project is funding so how are you funding or sponsoring the project well uh, for now we don't have enough funding like we, we don't receive enough funding for now but uh, whatever the funding we receive are, are basically from the uh, development programs and, and even now like like i just said like google summer of code and those are the things like they, they usually pays you know like they, they support some open source communities who took participate so this this basically uh, we are even like looking forward to have a financial support from the uh, communities some some large based communities and where we could help uh, grow our market we we could have grow our development phase so this is something even now if i talk about uh, i would really like to thank uh, linux foundation because this the linux foundation recently uh, is supporting us and even we got approved for a new um, like for the linux foundation's new community bridge mentorship program uh, where, where Codeno is participating with the two mentees. So I think this is something uh, we are really excited about. Right, that's a reality. But if you look at open source, commercialization of open source is critical to the health of the project and its ecosystem. It ensures that the project has some longevity. Uh, do you have any plans to commercialize Donut? Oh, basically, yes, because uh, currently we have a lots of goals, you know, like we are currently in a phase of to making this uh, reach to some external markets as well, making it uh, making it more viable product at a production level. Uh, and, and we are heavily working on this, uh, this donut platform and, and other interlinked projects uh, to have a security and vulnerabilities uh, related stuff, you know, like because if, if, if any communities use this platform for their own, you know, like for on their self. So, so the very first priority would be to have the security, right? So, so security and the privacy pays the most important part for any community. So this is something uh, we are really trying to build on and really trying to make it more secure so that this could be reached to the uh, major production level and, and this could be used by many other communities and projects. Great. Now, we are in the mid of 2020. Uh, can you talk about what does your roadmap uh, for the year look like? Basically, uh, the very first priority for us would be to seek some funding uh, from the communities and the, from the projects because funding plays a vital role for, uh, for our, because, you know, like uh, we have to, uh, because for, basically for any open source community or project, uh, they, they usually depends upon the contributions they receive from the external users and, and those are you know like they're usually freely free, freely paid not not really paid so basically those are free so so this is something like which would help us to enable uh, and get into the markets and organize some kind of meetups uh, organize some of the development sprints online hackathons where which where we could introduce the project and we could have the you know like better improvements inside the platforms we are working on the other thing i include is the going around with the white a white scope for for the current scenario like like if i talk about the artificial intelligence plays is playing a really a great uh, importance uh, in in every project so yeah so i think like adding uh, ai it to our projects would even enable us uh, to seek some more uh, you know like the growth so this is something we really plans to uh, like we have plans to do this in particular this year that was great uh, thank you jaskarat for taking uh, time out and talking to me today uh, good luck with your project and I, I i look forward to talk to you again once we hit uh, some of those milestones on your roadmap thank sure. you thank you thanks a lot